red wines can be intimidating, especially for beginners. I'm going to take the mystery out of all this. We're going to look at what red wines are and four of the, the best red wines for beginners. Are you ready to get started? Come on, let's go. Hey Posse, I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. As we're learning more about wine together, this episode is for those that are new or newer to drinking wine and more specifically red wine. If you're just beginning to drink wine, you may be drinking whites. Most beginners start with white wines. With that in mind, the reds I'm showing or are recommending in, in this particular episode are those that allow for an easier transition from whites to reds. Specifically, these wines are not very harsh or, as we say in the industry, they have low tannins. Now keep in mind, if at any time you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also, make sure you share this with your friends. I'm sure they would appreciate it. What are the top four red wines for beginners? The first red wine that I'll begin with is Pinot Noir. The reason I'm starting with Pinot Noir is that it is the lightest of all red wines. It's easier to approach. This is the perfect red wine for beginners. It, it makes for a great transition from whites to reds. Pinot Noir is a, a red grape. Uh, it's one of the oldest, most ancient of red grapes in the world. It comes from France and they've been making a wine with it in France for 2,000 years. It's low in tannins, easy to drink, and not too dry. Now the Burgundy region of France has some, of, some tremendous Pinot Noirs. An important thing to remember is if a bottle of wine is red and from Burgundy, France, then it's a Pinot Noir. Remember that. Most people don't realize this, but it's important because French wines typically won't list the varietal or the type of grapes on the bottle. Instead, they'll list the region that the wine is coming from or the name of the family that produces the wine. So you'll actually see the word Burgundy on the bottle. Now that said, pinas are made all across the world, particularly in areas with cooler climates, including France, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Australia, New Zealand, um, and of course the U.S. Now in the U.S. it's made primarily in California, Oregon, and Washington State. Since 1979, the Pinot Noirs from Oregon and more specifically the Willamette Valley area have been some of the best Pinots in the entire world. Now the reason Pinots are so good for beginners is because it has a softer, less powerful taste than all the other red wines. It's light and elegant. How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? If it is, write red wine in the comments below. Okay, back to our top four red wines for beginners. The next wine is Grenache, or in some parts of the world, it's called Garnacha. Grenache is a darker red wine that, that uh, comes from the Grenache grape. Typically, it has a little bit more fruit flavor than the Pinot Noir. It's good for beginners because it's a softer red wine and also easy to drink. It has the fruit and the flavor without the big tannins. Now, another good wine to start off with would be Tempranillo. Many people call this Tempranillo, but the correct pronunciation is Tempranillo. Tempranillo wine comes from the, the Tempranillo grape. This grape originates in Spain and is ruby red and full bodied. This is a great transition for new red wine drinkers because it's a little bit darker, has more fruit flavors and a fuller body than Pinot Noir, but on the spectrum of tannins, it's in the, the mid range. Oh, 
uh, and, and typically you'll find that Tempranillo <laughs> won't break your wallet. Next up is red blends. Now, these are red wines that are made up of several different varietals or types of red wine blended all together. The reason these are good for new red wine drinkers is because when you're blending different grapes or grape varietals together, uh, the characteristics of each grape or each wine balances out the flavors of the other grapes or wine. If they're from the U.S., it usually will tell you on the bottle that it's a red blend. These wines have a tendency to run the entire price gamut from the most expensive all the way to very modestly priced. By the way, whenever you're picking out a red blend, make sure you check on the label to see if it has one of the types of, or even several of the types of grapes you like. Well, there you have it. Pinot Noir, Grenache, Tempranillo, and Red Blends. The top four red wines for beginners. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine-related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.